Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, if you watch this uh, station for any period of time, you probably know that I'm cheap. I like to bargain shop, and I like deals, and I like to duplicate things. I like to have, rather than one, maybe two or three of something. Um, so it should come as no surprise I like shopping at Harbor Freight. Now, I know some people love Harbor Freight. Some people think it's the worst thing on the face of the earth, and it's all low-quality stuff. Um, I think it's a pretty cool store, and if you buy certain things, you can probably get decent quality. So, um, just want to show you something I picked up there, because I think I got a really good deal on it. This is, uh, just a regular little hatchet. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. Uh, it cost, uh, $7.99. I received 30% off, because they were running a special, um, last week and all this week. So, basically, it cost me $5.59. Now you might say, oh, that's not a good axe or hatchet. There's a lot better out there, and you know what? I would agree with you. You could probably get a much better axe for $30 or $40. You, know, you could probably get an awesome axe for a couple hundred. But I don't really have uh, a lot of need for an axe or a hatchet. Uh, basically, my main purpose for wanting this is just in case there's some larger stuff I might have to chop up in my yard, which I think is kind of unlikely. And the big thing is if we have a, a fire in the fire pit and, uh, you know, I have some wood kind of breaking it up into kindling and stuff. And I think this would be really, really good for that. So I'm basically doing kind of like lightweight occasional jobs with it because we don't have fires that often. So... I, I can't really see spending like, you know, 50 bucks or 60 bucks on a hatchet. Now, I'll spend like, you know, $100 on a knife. That doesn't phase me because I carry a knife with me every single day. I use a knife every single day, several times. So spending $100 on a knife is something that makes a lot of sense to me. Plus, and it kind of has uh, some details that I appreciate, whether it be the materials, the shape, the ergonomics. This, not so much. <clears throat> Now, they did have the hickory um, the hickory hatchet, which was pretty cool, and I saw on Wrangler Star, got some excellent reviews, but it was uh, it was $12.99. Now, remember, I said I'm cheap, so even though it, I know it's a pretty good hatchet, I didn't want to spend the other 4 bucks. Plus, the sale, was, I'm not an Inside Track Club member, so the sale was only for $10 and below, so this was $5.59. Um, now, I'm just going to hold this up so you can see it. Uh, it has a one and a quarter pound uh, axe head. Looks like it's got like a powder coating on it. And it comes with this uh, sheath at the end. And uh, the tip is decent. Um, I, I think it might make sense to file it down a little bit, which I might do. But before I do that, I'll probably just try and split some, uh, some uh, wood with it and See how it goes. Again, I'm only going to break in some pieces into kindling, so it's not like I'm I'm going to try and fell a tree with my. Let's see how long is this thing. Um, it's not like I'm going to try and fell a tree with my 15 and a half inch hatchet with a quart one and a quarter pound head. So, like I said, I am going to be doing using it for very very small occasional tasks. So 5.59. I think it's a pretty good value, uh, and I think it will take care of everything I needed to take care of and more. Uh, if if it is as good as I think it can be and as effective for my needs as I think it could be, I would entertain buying another one. Maybe keep one in my truck. You know, another one, uh, another one at home. It's five dollars and fifty nine cents, right? So um, on that uh, label, I'm not sure how well you can see it. It's a little blurry, but uh, this is the Pittsburgh one and a quarter pound axe with a fiberglass handle. For look at that, I didn't even have to measure it. it as a fourteen inch handle. Um, the shape isn't bad. I mean, it swells out a little bit here, so that's not bad. I probably would have liked a little bit more of a palm swell in here, but you know what? I can, I can make do with it. That's fine. Um, it seems like it would be good. I am, you know, if you watch like channels like Wrangler Star, you know, people like him know, tend to know an awful lot about, uh, stuff like this. This is really not my forte, and I don't pretend it is my forte, but... Like I said, occasional use, small projects. I think it'll be pretty good. 
Uh, so I just want to kind of bring this up to you uh, in case you happen to have a Harbor Freight in the area and you're looking for a cheap hatchet. There were a few on Walmart, I'm sorry, not Walmart, Amazon that I had seen for under $20. And uh, I thought they were okay. They looked okay to me, but I, I figured I'd kind of wait. And I was planning on picking up the uh, the Harbor Freight with the hickory handle. I like that one actually better than this, but you figure that one would have cost me $13. And this one is $5.59. You know, so... You know, if someone tried to make the argument that that hickory handle is the one that the hickory handle is better, I wouldn't say they're wrong. I it might very well be better. I, I certainly wouldn't uh, argue the point. But like I said, for my limited needs, I think this is good. Um, and if you also have limited needs for an axe, but you'd like to have one available to you, I think it's probably worthwhile to check this out. Um, you know, maybe I'll come back and do another video with it if I. If I find that it's it's a piece of junk for the ages, or if it's the most uh, miraculous, fantastic uh, tool I have ever used in my life. I have a feeling neither one will be true, to be honest with you. I think it'll be somewhere in between, and I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, <clears throat> I anticipate, um, I have, I'm going to have some free time on my hands, which is kind of unusual. So, I anticipate putting out uh, some extra videos in the coming couple of weeks. Uh, some interesting stuff I want to uh, do some videos on, some little lengthier topics that sometimes I don't have the time to do. But uh, just keep an eye on that and um, talk about some cool stuff. So, um, you know, have a, uh, have a good night and then I'll talk to you later. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.